Hi, it's uh, Geocache and Granger, Bora 1986. Still in search of trying to fill my fizzy grid and uh, I'm going to be doing Under or Over. It's a uh, geocache that's in a culvert. It has a difficulty of 4.5 and a terrain of 3.5. And, and we'll see what we can do about this one. Why don't you join me? I need to read the instructions a little bit better. I think I was in the long, wrong culvert. And so let's try this one. It's a bit hard on the legs. But uh, we'll keep looking. Check all the nooks and crannies. See what we find. Well, I've been in both of the culverts and uh, come up with nothing. Not too sure that I need to go through again and give it a try, but what I'll do is I'll read some of the logs and see if that gives me any clue. Well, it looks like this is going to be a bust. I've been up and down two or three times in this culvert and uh, not being able to find anything. Well, it's eight days later now and we're returning to the scene of the crime. I use that term loosely. Uh, last time I had a DNF it and I contacted the uh, cash owner. The cash owner had moved it up top as uh, one of his friends uh, wasn't capable of getting down here. And so now he's put it back in place. And he gave me a few additional clues and uh, we're going to go in and have a look and see if we can make the find. Water's running a little bit. It's a little bit brighter than last week. And as you can see, there's some cobwebs hanging down. And uh, with cobwebs, there'll be spiders. But let's see what we can do. I see something over there and we'll go and check it out. There it is. The clues really did help me this time. There it goes. A little bit jammed in there so the this ever gets flooded it won't get washed out. That was quite an adventure in the culvert. Dark, spider webs, and with spider webs comes spiders. Managed to avenge that DNF, again with a little help from the cash owner. Do appreciate that. That uh, means I've only got one more in fizzy grid to go. While we got the rubber boots on, might as well go and find another one that requires wading in the water. So we're here at uh, Wedgwood Park, and we're going to go after a, a geocache that uh, will require a little paddling in the stream. Let's go and see if we can find it.
I think it's over on the island over there. Not too sure how deep the water is here. It's got to be high up because this looks like a flood plain. Well, let's take a look around. And let it be right in front of me. That was a couple of caches that required boots, rubber boots. The water wasn't too deep, it was cold, but it wasn't too deep. But I uh, managed to knock those two off uh, without any difficulty. Well, I enjoyed doing that additional cache today. Uh, while I had the welt boots on, why not? But just remember, keep on caching.